Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator. Today I'm excited to show you our new cPanel theme that's going to be rolling out on cloud and shared servers. We'll take a look at some of the cool new functions and features and show you how to navigate the space a little bit. As always, if you like the content that we're making, you can give the video a like, leave us a comment below with what you'd like to see next, and subscribe if you want to see more. But if you're ready to go, let's get started. We'll kick things off today inside of our cPanel, but before we get to the fun stuff, I wanted to let you know that we have a ton of helpful cPanel tutorial videos already loaded on our YouTube channel. I'll be sure to link those in the description below, but if you see an application here that you'd like more information on, feel free to let us know in the comments below. So let's check out some features of our theme. Just like we used to, we have a quick search function up here in the top left. If I search for email, you'll see that all the icons here relate to my email search. Now, of course, if I want to search manually, I can simply remove this and scroll through all the icons and options that I have here available inside of my cPanel. Now you'll notice that our general information really hasn't changed all that much. We still have our current cPanel user up here, our primary domain, our shared IP address for the server, where our home directory is located, and also the last IP address we used to sign into the cPanel. If we scroll down just a little bit further, we can see our statistics for this account, including our disk usage, how many files we have in this account, and our MySQL disk usage as well. The general information section is a really great way to get a quick snapshot of everything that's going on in your cPanel, so I always like to show that off too. Scrolling back up to the top, we'll take a look at some of the other functions inside of our cPanel as well. One of my favorite parts about cPanel is it does a great job of organizing things for you so they're easy to find. You'll see here that we've got sections for email, files, databases going all the way down. There's a really cool function that I want to show you first, and that is you can collapse these little sections here. So if I don't want to see email, I can just go ahead and click this minus. As you can see, it collapses all the information inside of there, and if I want to see it again, I can click plus. Another cool thing you can do is actually organize these sections to bring the ones that you view the most up to the top. So let's say that I use files more often than not. I can actually click here, drag this up, and put files at the top. Now I've essentially organized it to my liking. Now that we've covered organization, let's go through each one of these sections and I'll call out some of the cool things you might need to use when you're working inside of your cPanel. Here inside the file section, this relates to the physical data that we have on our account and how we can manage it. We have our file manager here, which is a really important way to view your files and see what's inside of your account. We can also check out the total disk usage for our account and also manage our backups, which I think is one of the most important things you can do in any web hosting environment. Scrolling down just a little bit further, basically anything email related will be in the email section. You can view your email accounts or create a new one here, set up forwarders if you want to, and check your email routing. Very similar to the above section, you can check just your email disk usage right down here. And you'll also have the ability to set up Apache Spam Assassin here with the spam filters. Scrolling down just a little bit further, let's check out some of these new sections. In our databases section, we have everything relating to our MySQL databases. You can check out PHP MyAdmin here, create, view, or add new database users to your databases here in the MySQL databases section. You can also set up remote MySQL. Down here in the domain section, this basically relates to all the domains that we've added to our cPanel. We can view all of them here. We can also add a new add-on domain or a subdomain here. We can set up aliases and redirects, and we can also check out our DNS zone editor here as well. Down just a little bit further in the metrics section, we can view all the visitors to our site, check out any recent errors, view our bandwidth, and also check out our AW stats. All the sections here will allow you to track who's visiting your website and see some of the very important data associated with it. Scrolling down just a little bit further, we can view the security section here. We can manage our SSH access and also use IP Blocker to block any pesky IPs that keep hitting our site. Down here in the software section, we have a few cool features. We have our Soft Aculus apps installer, which will allow us to install Joomla, WordPress, really any CMS that we want to. We also have the ability to use Multi-PHP Manager to set a new PHP version for any of our sites on the cPanel. Down just a little bit further, we can see our advanced section. Here's where you can set up cron jobs for your server. We can also check out this new function, which is a terminal. I'm gonna click on this and show it to you. Now, rather than having to SSH in manually on a new terminal, you can actually click this terminal section and it's gonna provide you command line access to your server, basically right inside of your cPanel. This is pretty handy if you want direct SSH access. We'll head back to the main page and I'll show you a few more cool things. Down here in the preferences section, we can actually change our cPanel password if we'd like to. We can modify the language that's used by the cPanel, update our contact info, and also manage any FTP or other users on this account as well. Just below that, we'll see the Soft Aculus apps installer. Now you also have the option to click here and be taken directly to Soft Aculus, but if you want to install a very quick version of WordPress, Joomla, or any other CMS, you can do that down here as well. And that about wraps it up for our new cPanel theme and a bit of navigation. I hope you found this video helpful. As always, if you like the content that we're making, feel free to subscribe, give it a like on YouTube, and let us know in the comments below what you think. Thanks, y'all.